So I was thinking, okay, I really want to make a TV show because everyone is, there's no money in film and all the money's in TV and, and my wife would like us to get a bigger house. Anyway, so I was watching this show, this TV show called Fishing with John, where John Leary uh, goes fishing with different famous people. And I was thinking, it'd be funny to do a kind of parody of this called Tripping with Kaveh. So I try to get people who were famous to uh, trip with me. Um, and the only person who wanted to trip with me who was famous was uh, Will Oldham. So we shot an episode called Tripping with Kaveh, and it was supposed to be the pilot for a TV show. <laughs> I think that God would rather you took that mushroom. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to like God. help God mm -hmm. have his way. But then I couldn't get anyone to play it. And whenever I would give it to someone, like a TV station, they would say, it's not gonna fly. And then when the marijuana laws uh, started changing, I thought, well, maybe I could do a show called Getting Stoned with Cave because um, it's almost not illegal anymore. And, uh, uh, but it's still a little illegal. So maybe that's just the right balance of uh, edgy and uh, acceptable. <coughs> 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 And I tried to get people to air, but nobody would air that either. I'm pretty sure pot's still illegal. And so um, I was interviewed on this uh, podcast. And I, I like pot. And the guy, Adam Shartoff, who was interviewing me, said, Oh, I know a guy at this place called Brick who might be interested. And so then he uh, contacted the guy. His name was Aziz. So we met with Aziz. I like it. Um, well, can you make it like, can you shorten it? Can you make it eight minutes? No, it's like, it's like, it's the length that it is. I can't like make it eight minutes. We can only do eight minutes, so. I, I want to make it short. I mean, it's not a short thing. Like, that's not what it is. We well, can't do it. Okay. But we have, you know, we have money for a TV series. And, I, you know, if so you have any ideas, we could, if you want to pitch them, we'll listen to them. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Um, do you have any like guidelines, like what kind of stuff you're looking for? Well, we like Brooklyn-centric okay. things, uh -huh. diversity. You mean like minorities? Okay. You know, just something that people like want to watch. Under eight minutes. So I try to think of an idea, and you know, uh, so I, I got stoned one day to try to think of an idea, and um, I had an idea for a show called Daisy Chain. <laughs> and it's about different people having sex uh, in Brooklyn. And uh, there's two characters. First character has sex with the second character in the first episode. Second character has sex with a different character in the second episode. And that different character has sex with a third character in the fourth episode, whatever. But the final character has sex with the first character, which makes it like a perfect loop. Cool. And there'll be like different minorities, different classes different uh, sexual orientations, like the whole gamut of Brooklyn's diversity will yeah. be represented. Yeah. Oh, I like this, Kaveh. This is awesome. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could, yeah, this is great. Um, do you, what about like a celebrity? You think you could get like a celebrity in there? Okay, like I, maybe like I could get like a semi-famous person. Because if, if you get a celebrity, uh, then I can definitely sell this show to the people upstairs. So I was like, well, who do I know who's famous-ish? The only person I knew who's famous-ish and would do it, possibly, was uh, Alex Karpovsky, who's in Girls. And he was also in my Getting Stone with Cave pilot. Uh, so I asked Alex if he would do it, and Alex said, That sounds cool. Great, I'll do it. So I'm thinking it'd be good to maybe like to use like real stories that like really happened, like so maybe something that, that really happened to you. Like you could maybe tell me some of your sexual experiences that were like weird or interesting or whatever that, you know, say something about the human condition. Well, um, I was having sex with this girl a while ago, and I was really, really into her, and really into having sex with her, and, uh, you know, the sex was starting to get kind of um, intense and primal, <laughs> <laughs> and getting to the foothills of being kind of rough, and then she um, looked me in the eyes, and she said, Hit me. And uh, that's never happened before, and, she, and I hit her like that. Uh, no, really hit me. I'm gonna really hit you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hard. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I thought about it for a second, and I was like, uh -huh. I can't. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. I just, I can't. Uh -huh. 
and she rolled her eyes, and we had sex for like another like 10 seconds or something, like courtesy, continuation, and then she said, I gotta go to the bathroom. So she went to the bathroom, and I was sort of stuck with my own thoughts about the whole situation, and then she came back and said, I gotta go. And um, it was really sad. So that was kind of interesting. Um, somebody who wants you to hit them and you can't because you feel whatever. Um, so uh, who are we going to get to play the girl? We, can we get the real girl to play herself, you think? Mm, I think that'd be weird. Well, is there an actress that like, you'd like to work with? I've always wanted to work with Eleanor Hendricks. I think she's amazing. And I was like, great, I like Eleanor Hendricks a lot. She's really good. Uh, so we asked Leanna Hendricks if she would do it, and she said... Sure. So, um, Aziz said... So it's just a formality. Everybody's really down with the whole thing. Every, we really want to do it. You just need to write down, just map out the episode. You just need to write it down. And so, um, I, I submitted the thing to them, and then uh, I got uh, a call. They are pulling the plug on the show. They're canceling the show. Not going to happen. And so basically, they thought it was too uh, racy or edgy or whatever. Uh, Imagine if somebody who was sexually abused watched your show, uh, you know, and they were offended. You know, we can't risk that. I mean, um, you know, we could lose our funding. And I was like, really? Oh, man, okay. But we still want to work with you. So, if you can, I mean, again, if you can come up with any other idea, we'd love to hear those ideas. But they also wanted something that would be popular. So it was like a mixed message. Um, so uh, I got stoned again, and I had another idea. <laughs> It's called Brick with a C, and it's about eight different characters who all work at Brick, and it all takes place on the same day, and each episode's from the point of view of a different character, and it's all about like the stuff that goes on at Brick, you know, like the political correctness issues and the sensitivities to like the different, you know, community issues that it presents. Are you making fun of Br are you making fun of Brick well, in some uh, way? A little bit, just, just, just enough to, so that it seems like you guys are cool. So that was a no. Uh, and so then I was like, okay, but I really want to do a TV show, and I don't know who else is going to give me the time of day. Um, and, you know, Brick, it's, you know, it's small. So, um, so uh, I, um, oh, yeah. So then uh, I got stoned again. And uh, <laughs> I couldn't think of a good TV show, but my wife, Mandy, who uh, watches a lot more TV than I do, came up with an idea for a TV show. It's about a Brooklyn co-op oh, like this one, I eight units. It's about those like little I things, talk you know. Daddy. It's about these like little conflicts yeah. between people yeah. and like living together in a too close space, Mandy. too close quarters. And I was like, great. Um, I would love to, you know, I, I was always wanted to work with her on something. She's super smart. Um, but she's uh, difficult. Have I, I think I should write it without you. But I thought, great, if you write it, I'll do it. And so uh, I made a meeting. So, so they liked this idea, uh, and they wanted to, to meet. Just write down what happens in the first episode, and then give us the arc of the entire series. And so I was like, Mandy, you got to decide what the first episode is and what the arc for the show is. And she was like, oh, I can't do that. It's, uh, writing isn't like that. You can't just tell someone, oh, you got to do this. You got to feel it. You gotta have time. If you would babysit more, maybe I would find the time. You know, it became a fight. And I started getting worried. It was like the next day I had to meet with Aziz. I was trying to say, Mandy, would you please write something? And she was just like, no, Kave, I can't just write something. You know, fuck brick. You know, this should be like a, a I'll write it when, I'm, when I write it. And I was just like, this is not gonna work. Um, and um, my friend Arnold was over, and I was saying, Arnold, she's not gonna do it. I'm gonna like tell them I'm doing the show and she's not gonna write anything. And he said, Yeah, why don't you just do something on Brooklyn bands? And I was like, yeah, okay. So I got stoned again to think about how I would do that, but I don't really know Brooklyn bands. Um, so what could I do that really feels like true to me? And I was like, I had an idea. I don't want to do cooperative anymore. What do you, what do you mean? And he had, there was a woman named Kai he was with. Why? My wife uh, was going to write it. She's like hard to deal with. You don't want that. But I have a better idea. Okay. So the show is about making a show. And it's about making this show. Every episode will be about the making of the previous episode. And so the first episode is a story of, of the making of the green lighting. Assuming you guys green light the show. 
the story of the greenlighting of the show. What's the show? This show. What show? This show. I don't understand when you, when you say this show. This show, like the show about the show. Like you come in here and pitch Daisy Chain or something. Yeah, exactly. I tell the story of how, yeah, like pitching Daisy Chain, pitching Brick with a C, exactly. I'll pitch all the shows. Brick with to a C. To an actor, not to me. Yeah, not to you, unless you want to be in it. I don't want to be in it. You don't have to be in it. I'll get an actor to play you. Oh, also, the head of Brick is friends with my sister. I didn't know this until uh, after uh, I'd been talking to them for a while. But she uh, was walking by when I was pitching this to Aziz and Kai. And uh, she remembered me from when I was a kid and I was kind of rude to her. Anyway, so I was kind of a, a charming that day. I'm not always charming, so that was a, a charming moment on my part. And, and it was approved. Uh, I don't know how much of it was the charm, how much of it was my sister, how much of it was the idea, uh, but anyway. They want to see the pilot before they pay for the whole series, but if they like the pilot, they'll green like the series. But Aziz doesn't want to play himself, Kai doesn't want to play herself, and this woman, whose name I'm forgetting, doesn't want, my sister's friend doesn't want to play herself. Um, oh, what's her name? But um, so who's going to play? Who's going to play Aziz? And I, was, I wanted someone who looks like an Aziz. So I thought this guy, owner, um, I thought he could play Aziz because he's Turkish. Anyway, so I was meeting with Aziz to come look at the space to see where to shoot the monologue, and I told owner to come because I want him to meet Aziz. So this is uh, this is Aziz. This is Aziz. Owner. Nice to meet you. What kind of name is that? I Iranian. It's an Iranian mm -hmm. name. Aziz Azara, that, that Indian boy, he's like, in, he's Indian, so I guess Aziz and Indian and uh, Iranian. I'm, I'm cool with the Iranians. Yeah. You're Iranian, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. You, Aziz, and this is, don't take offense, this isn't anything offensive because there's nothing offensive about being <laughs> silent, but you're the silent type. And I am really not. I don't know if I could probably do this, but you want me to do that? And so then I got stoned again, and I thought, you know who would be good for Aziz? Dustin. Oh, also. If owner plays Aziz, who's going to play owner? So I thought, okay, Dustin plays Aziz. Owner could just play owner. And, uh, and that's it. What we need for it to be a definite go is that you need to write out the arc of the entire series. Yeah, but how can I do that? I don't know what's going to happen. I, I could make stuff up, but like, it's going to be whatever happens. It's going to be the episode, that, the next episode is going to be what happened on the previous episode. Like I can't, I don't know what's going to happen. What if nothing happens? The interesting things always happen. Uh, why did we greenlight this again? Yeah. That was, was good. pretty good. It was You're right. not being humorful enough. Yeah. I'm so slow. You think it's funny too, <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah, 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 it's hard. Okay. What if here we go, here we go. Yeah, where yeah. he backs up and goes, and then says a line. I mean, that's sounds, that sounds, sounds great. great. Yeah, that's up to you. Okay, here we go. Okay. Hmm, mm hmm Yeah, that was the whole point. Like, it's like, what happened, and that's... Cool. Hmm. Well, and why did we uh, green light this? I don't, I don't know. Hmm? No, again, it's... That was... Without that the was, again. That was crazy. Without that was the it. again, it's not the same joke. That was it. Why did we green light this again? Why did we green light this is a question. Why did we green light this again is a joke. I know, I, what did I say? You didn't say again. So why did we green light this? I thought it was perfect.